So I know I haven't been shy about my thoughts after the Galaxy Unpacked event. I've stated that I'm a little disappointed in the iterative updates on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. So I figured, you know what? Let me go take a look and get my hands on a physical unit so I can really see if there are improvements that would garner any interest from me with the Z Fold 6. I'm a Pixel Fold guy um, and you know I'm looking to see improvements with the Z Fold 6's screen and also the crease, right? This is the sixth generation of their foldable smartphone. And the Pixel Fold is Google's first gen smartphone. There's nothing that's vastly better than what I have and what you may have if you're a Pixel Fold owner. So I'm gonna do a little comparison in my local Best Buy just to see and get a, a feel of the device. So let's take a look. Right away, I have to give Samsung some props here. There's an improvement from the Z Fold 5 to Z Fold 6. It feels much lighter and a little thinner in your hand. The hinge has improved. It doesn't stick out nearly as much as it used to. So it makes the device feel even thinner. The outer display is just a tad wider. Still a little thin for my taste. The inner display is bright and beautiful as usual. But one thing I noticed, that crease has not decreased. When compared to my Pixel Fold, you can see it's taller and thinner, or I should say slimmer. Pixel Fold is shorter and wider, which I prefer actually. But when it comes to thickness, they're pretty much the same thickness. There's not much of a difference there. But what I will tell you is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is significantly lighter. The heft of the Pixel Fold is noticeable, but that does add to the premium feel that that device has. If you look here, look at the crease. There's no noticeable difference between the crease on the Pixel Fold and the crease on the Z Fold 6. So for you crease haters out there, the Z Fold 6 doesn't solve your problems. You might wanna to look to the OnePlus Open for that. There's nothing here to make me want to leave my Pixel Fold. I thought that the squared off edges would actually dig in the palm of my hand, but it feels quite nice. The one thing that's still the same though is that the slim and tall display does make it difficult to reach the top corners and the notification pane, which is one of the main reasons why I prefer the Pixel Fold. See how much easier it is for me to maneuver with one hand. I can easily reach the top corners. Foldable owners, what say ye? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, so you know what? It's not so bad. Um, I actually thought it was, it felt better and looked better than I expected. Um, but that outer display is still narrow. I do like the squared off edges. It makes it a little bit more uniform and they minimize the hinge on, on the side of the device. So it feels a little nicer in the hands, but it's still a little thin and tall for me. Um, I don't think that I think that subtle change in screen size and shape um, helps it a little bit. And I think um, fans of the existing Z Fold devices are gonna be happy with the change, but I don't think that it did enough for those people who do not prefer that form factor to want that device. So I think that if you are someone who likes the Pixel Fold or even the OnePlus Open, um, there's nothing there that's gonna excite you enough that you wanna jump to a Z Fold 6. The added AI features are gonna be coming to the Z Fold 5. So that's not really a plus, it's, it's an iterative update. And Pixel Fold fans, we have the Made by Google event to look forward to. And I think that's when we're gonna get something that's gonna excite us. Even though, disappointingly, I'm hearing they're changing the form factor, the aspect ratio is gonna be 
more similar to the OnePlus Open. So we'll see how big of a change it will be coming in August, but we're supposed to get some nice hardware. It's supposed to be better screens. Of course, the process upgrade is gonna be substantial for some folks, going from the Tensor G2 to the Tensor G4. Better cameras, and um, I know most Pixel Fold users are fine with their cameras, they're happy with the cameras. It's actually improved over time, so. Well, there you have it, that was a quick hands-on and a little comparison between the Z Fold 6 and the Google Pixel Fold. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you're impressed by the Z Fold. I know it hasn't changed my mind. I still prefer the form factor of the Pixel Fold. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon to be notified when I drop another video. See you in the next one. Peace.